Hey, so I have not recorded at all today. Um, well, recorded me talking, so maybe it's a nice break. But yeah, I've just been hiking with um, a few other hikers all day. So we have a little group going. Uh, Lime Time uh, Puzzles and Last Minute. So all three of us hiked out of Stanimals this morning, got on trail about 9, and hiked 20, 21 miles to... Cornelius something shelter. Um, overall, it was a good day, good weather, um, but really good company. It's like, it's so nice to just hike with a group and just, I don't know, just talk and makes the day go by quick. And um, yeah, it's just good to, good to hike with a group. So we're going to settle in for the night. I'm going to go, you can see I got my filter here. So I'm going to go filter water and then... Um, have some rice for dinner and yeah I'll probably just end up taking um putting in a lot of like short clips and videos and photos for this episode and then we'll see if I do the same thing tomorrow or if it's more traditional but yeah didn't didn't get any chance to record other than now so uh yeah take care thanks for watching good morning everybody uh spent the night at Cornelius Creek shelter Everything was good. Um, I was in the tent. I used my new pillow, which I will put a picture of, hopefully. I'll remember to take one later. Um, and it was amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I was uh, just kind of sleeping on my dry bag when this pillow just weighs like an ounce or two. And... I can just put all my extra clothes in it and it feels just like a pillow. I should have started with it. <laughs> it, it, it was that good. It's a Thermarest pillow. So, um, yeah, I slept fantastic and I still have the car wash sponge. I still have the yellow car wash sponge with me from the beginning. I still think that adds another level of comfort. So I'm going to keep that. Um, the... I was with the group of guys, but we're all kind of, we all kind of took off at different times today. Um, they want to do like a 25, 26 because it's going to rain tomorrow and we want to go into Daleville, uh, which if we did 26 miles, it would only be 11. Um, there is a shelter at like 18, 19. But that would make a long day in the rain. Um, and it is cold, so I think I am in favor of doing 25, 26. It is like 8.45 this morning, so didn't get the earliest of starts. But you can always night hike. Um, but yeah, Daleville has a hostel and has some hotels or motels. Uh, yeah, it is really nice that looks like Virginia... Um, has a lot more, like, things along the trail. Um, and then, uh, after Daleville, which I think also has a Kroger, like a supermarket, um, I'll hit the Triple Crown, so we'll do McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs and, uh, Dragon's Tooth. Um, yeah, so a lot's happening. Uh, make, definitely making my way in Virginia. I'm almost almost halfway done with Virginia. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to update on. Just made coffee, which my coffee setup is like a pour over setup. It's so fancy, um, but it makes really good coffee. So, so that was good. Had a uh, oatmeal and yeah, just going to keep on going. The elevation doesn't look bad today, even for 25 miles. I think it's under 5,000 feet of gain. So I imagine I could go pretty quick, but we will see, we will see. So I know I have mentioned previously 
that you know peak foliage is coming in like a week <laughs> uh there's a chance that this is as good as it gets so i mean the yellows have been really bright and then every now and then you get a tree like this like this really bright red um so these have been really beautiful and you'll just come upon them every now and then uh, but mainly it's been kind of bright yellows and and reds um but I guess I was hesitant because on a lot of the views, um, like the overlooks, the foliage, it, it hasn't like popped. Like it is in that bright color, except for those reds. Like you'll see those reds in the, the distant views. Um, but nothing like deep, bright orange. Like I haven't seen that yet. Um, but I am gonna keep trying to document all the foliage because Part of the reason a lot of people do southbound is so they can do uh, go through the south um, in the fall. So I will make sure I document this. Um, but for the most part, those like reds, reds and yellows um, have been the best part. So I'll keep on filming and try and get the the foliage um, on the southbound through hike because it is unique. It's something that the northbounders do not get around here. So all over the trail, uh, you'll see these acorns everywhere. And these things are just like ankle twisters. Um, it's easy right now because the, the trail is clear. Uh, but as the leaves drop, there'll be just like a clump of the acorns underneath leaves that you can't see. And you just step on them and roll. So super dangerous maybe not crazy dangerous but it's a hazard of fall hiking that i am aware of and i find myself uh looking down at my feet more than more than i would like to but you could see here it's pretty clear right here but maybe when the the leaves fall down a little bit more it'll be a little more risky to slip and twist an ankle on those things There's a steep, real steep ascent going southbound from uh, Jennings Creek. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired. I just checked it was like 800, um, like 800 something feet, 850, I think, uh, up to this one little point. And then it's gonna keep going up till about like 15, 1600 uh, going southbound. Um, so, yeah, there's like a few of these climbs, like this area, it seems like it could be real flat and then you get a thousand feet in like a mile and a half up or down. So it's, it is steep, this section in, uh, in Virginia. Also, hold on, I'll flip the camera, some really great trees up here. So that's probably one of the brighter brighter trees that I've seen um, but yeah it seems like as I get up uh, you could see some of the the trees with more distinct colors so no views but you know the foliage makes it worth the climb so I'm gonna stop up here uh, at a shelter and just take a break. I'm sure I've already done over 10 miles today and definitely we're probably around 3,000 feet of gain, so a little tired. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a little windy and all the acorns are falling right now. <laughs> so I can imagine getting hit by one of those things hurts real bad. So yeah, I'm just, Kind of ducking i don't think that's really going to help but um also i got enough service to check on my phillies the baseball team and they have won a playoff series first time in 11 years making the playoffs in baseball and then they go and beat the cardinals so hope i can get some service so i can follow them just a 
I'm a huge sports fan. Anyone who knows me, I'm like watching sports all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm not like thinking about going to a hotel so I can watch sports. Like, I'm very focused on the through hike, but it is cool to like not know any of the scores and then getting up to a mountain, getting a little service, and then watching highlights. So, go Phillies. Just wanted to say that. Um, foliage watch still good still really good this is by uh, Cove Mountain Cove Mountain shelter and it's you know still it's second week in, in uh, October so this is pretty um, some pretty good colors around here this might actually be the best day of uh, foliage and just trail walking in in general for color so yeah it makes Makes the day go by quick. It's it's really beautiful to look at. All right, I am at this uh, overlook. Not sure which one. There's a sign over there, but that's okay. Uh, it's still nice. Uh, I'm gonna head across the street, and this is still uh, Blue Ridge Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, head across the street. Check it and head back onto the AT. Still got like eight, eight-ish miles left in my day, but I got some good um, service, so I'm listening, uh, listening to some 70s, 70s playlist on Spotify. I think it's working real well with uh, the sideburns and the mustache. It's a... Uh, it's fitting, it feels right, it feels good, so I'm gonna roll with it till the shelter. Hey, it is uh, 6.30-ish. It's gonna get dark soon. I'm at an overlook, so the light is good right now, but um, yeah, still got like two-ish miles left. Um, two-ish miles. I'm gonna, I, I actually made good time. I don't know if I'll really do much night hiking at all. Um, and yeah, tomorrow going into a hostel in Daleville. I think it's called Beach Hill. Um, has some good good reviews, and I know a few people are going there. Uh, Lime Time and uh, Puzzles. Yeah, both both of them are going there, so we're gonna hang out. Um, yeah, I figured I'd give you some last views from Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, pretty good, pretty good views. Uh, and yeah, just also sign out, so it'll probably be late and I'll have some chores to do when I get there. So uh, let me know if you got any questions about the hike or you want to see stuff that I'm not showing. Um, and yeah, as always, thanks for the support. Take care. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will uh, pick it up tomorrow morning.